Welcome to this video exploring all common forms of government. Practically every type of government in the world can be classified into two categories, democratic and non-democratic governments. Democratic governments are governments in which the people of a nation determine how they are governed. Non-democratic governments are governments in which the majority of the people of a nation cannot determine how they are governed. We will start with democratic governments. There are two main forms of democratic governments, direct democracies and republics. A direct democracy is a form of government in which the people vote directly on laws by popular vote. Under this system, every law that is passed has to be approved by a direct vote from the people of a political entity. Although most nations today have democratic forms of government, direct democracies are virtually non-existent at the national level because they do nothing to protect the rights of the minority and they would require people to be voting frequently, which would be a major inconvenience for most people. The most famous historical example of a direct democracy is ancient Athens. However, Athens was not a pure direct democracy as only free adult male citizens could vote, meaning more than three quarters of the population could not vote. The closest example of a direct democracy today is Switzerland. In Switzerland, voters can approve proposed or already enacted laws by petitioning the government for a referendum, which will take place if enough signatures are gathered. However, Switzerland is not a pure direct democracy, as there is a parliament that actually votes on and enacts legislation and a president. Although there are no countries with pure direct democracies, there are elements of direct democracy in various political processes, such as in town meetings held in the New England states of the United States, in which citizens gather publicly to discuss and vote on laws at the local level. Public assemblies, known as Langsgemeinde, held in the Swiss cantons of Appenzell, Innerhoten, and Gladus, in which citizens gather publicly to vote on laws, and referendums, which are held in many countries around the world and within countries, such as in U.S. states. A republic is a form of government in which the people elect representatives to make laws for them. There are four main types of republics today, presidential republics, semi-presidential republics, appointed presidential republics, and parliamentary republics. A presidential republic is a republic in which the president is elected independently of the legislature and heads the executive branch of government, which is separate from the legislative branch. Under a presidential system, the president serves as the country's head of government and its head of state. As head of government, the president leads the country's government and is responsible for enforcing its laws through the cabinet and executive agencies. As head of state, the president is a ceremonial representative of their country to the world. Under the presidential system, the cabinet is under the authority of the executive branch led by the president, meaning members of the cabinet are appointed and dismissed by the president and the legislature is not able to simply dismiss them without bringing charges against them for misconduct in office, which is called impeachment. Examples of presidential republics are the United States, Mexico, Brazil, and Indonesia. A semi-presidential republic is a republic in which the president is elected independently of the legislature and in which the presidential cabinet can be easily dismissed by the legislative branch. Under the semi-presidential system, the cabinet is appointed by the president and is part of the executive branch, as in the presidential system, but in a semi-presidential republic, the legislature can remove cabinet members from office by a simple vote rather than through the formal process of impeachment, giving the legislature much more control over the executive branch. The role of the president in a semi-presidential system differs by country, although the president does have some degree of power as head of the executive branch in a semi-presidential republic. Examples of countries with semi-presidential republics are France, Russia, at least according to its constitution, though not in practice, Ukraine, and Egypt. An appointed presidential republic, which is a term I invented for this video, is a republic in which the legislature appoints a president who serves as both head of state and head of government. Under this system, the legislature, whose members are directly elected by the people, elects or appoints the president meaning the president is not directly elected by the people. The president is both head of state and head of government. Under the appointed presidential system, the cabinet is part of the executive branch and is so appointed by the president 
and the legislature may or may not have authority to remove members of cabinet by a simple vote, depending on the country. Examples of appointed presidential republics are South Africa, Botswana, Guyana, and Suriname. A parliamentary republic is a republic in which the executive branch of government, headed by a prime minister or chancellor, is subject to the legislative branch. Under the parliamentary system, the members of the legislature are elected directly by the people. The leader of the party which gains a majority of seats in the legislature or a majority of seats through a coalition or alliance with one or more other parties becomes prime minister. The prime minister is the head of government and generally the most powerful person in a parliamentary republic. Usually parliamentary republics also have a separate head of state who is generally called a president who serves a ceremonial role of representing the country to other nations and in some cases to lead certain formal processes required by the nation's constitution. However, this head of state has little to no power in the actual governance of the country. The head of state is usually elected directly by the people, although in some cases the legislature may play a role in electing the president. Under a parliamentary republic, the members of the executive branch, the prime minister and cabinet are subject to the legislature and in many cases are members of the legislature themselves. The legislature can easily remove the prime minister or members of the cabinet by a simple vote known as a vote of no confidence without having to conduct a formal trial of impeachment. Examples of parliamentary republics are Germany, India, Italy, and Poland. Now to non-democratic forms of government. We will start with historical forms of government that were common in the past. Oligarchies were a common historical form of government. An oligarchy is a form of government in which power is concentrated in the hands of a small number of people. We will explain four common types of oligarchies, aristocracies, plutocracies, democracies, and theocracies. An aristocracy is a form of government in which a small noble class rules the people. The members of this small noble class are called aristocrats. Examples of aristocracies were ancient Sparta with the Spartiates, upper class soldiers who elected the Spartan elders who served in the Gerousia, the Spartan Council of Elders, ancient Athens with the Eupatride, an Athenian noble class who had the sole privilege of being able to occupy major positions in government during the 8th and 7th centuries BC, the Roman Republic, particularly in its early years, where the patricians, the upper class in Rome, occupied the Roman Senate and controlled the government, as well as medieval Europe, in which feudal lords had a great amount of power and political influence in society. A plutocracy is a form of government in which wealthy people rule over all others. In this society, only those with a lot of money can have much influence in the political process. Examples of plutocracies were ancient Carthage, in which wealthy merchants dominated the political landscape and even the city's kings often paid to get the office the Venetian Republic, where wealthy merchants dominated the government, and Florence during the medieval and early modern periods, as well as the Dutch Republic during the early modern period, where wealthy families also dominated the government. A democracy is a form of government similar to a plutocracy, but in which only property owners have a say in how they are governed. Under this system, only those who own a certain amount of property or land are legally allowed to participate in the political process. Examples of democracy were the British Parliament before 1918, where only men who held a certain amount of land could vote or run for a seat, and the early United States, where most colonies and later states required men to possess a certain amount of land to vote until the early 1800s. A theocracy is a form of government in which a religious leader or religious leaders rule a nation on behalf of a deity or deities. Examples of theocracies were ancient Israel under the rule of the biblical judges, Puritan societies in North America in which only church members could participate in government and religious freedom was severely curtailed, Vatican City under the Pope, and the Taliban in Afghanistan, where many religious leaders have powerful governmental positions and their interpretation of Islamic law is strictly enforced. We will now move on to modern forms of non-democratic government, monarchies and dictatorships. A monarchy is a form of government in which one person is head of state for life or until abdication and is usually given the position by heredity. 
There are three main types of monarchies, absolute monarchies, semi-constitutional monarchies, and constitutional monarchies. An absolute monarchy is a form of government in which a usually hereditary ruler has unchecked power or nearly unchecked power over a state. Historically, monarchs ruling in absolute monarchies had no constitution to check their power and could make laws for their people and yet break them themselves with no one to hold them accountable. In recent years, some nations with absolute monarchies have established constitutions and created parliaments, but the monarch still has nearly total control of government in these nations. Present examples of absolute monarchies are Saudi Arabia, Oman, Eswatini, previously known as Swaziland, and Vatican City. A semi-constitutional monarchy is a form of government in which the monarch, who is constrained by a constitution, shares power with another body, such as an elected assembly. Under this system, the monarch still has power and influence in a country's political system, but must share that power with the legislature. In some countries, the monarch has the power to approve or veto laws made by the legislature. In others, the monarch may not have this power, but usually has a powerful role, such as commander of the military, and often has the authority to appoint people to important political offices. Examples of semi-constitutional monarchies are Morocco, Bahrain, Jordan, and Bhutan. A ceremonial constitutional monarchy is a form of government in which the monarch is a ceremonial ruler and head of state while the legislature governs the country. Under this system of government, the monarch is not very politically powerful and is tasked with ceremonial roles such as dissolving and convening the legislature, heading cabinet meetings, and formally approving laws through royal assent, which is a formality. The monarchs of ceremonial constitutional monarchies typically do little to intervene in the government and perform the role of a nation's national figurehead both at home and to other countries. Examples of ceremonial constitutional monarchies are the United Kingdom, Spain, the Netherlands, and Thailand. A dictatorship is a form of government in which one person or group of persons has absolute control over a state and suppresses any form of dissent. There are several forms of dictatorships, personalist dictatorships, military dictatorships, single party dictatorships, and hybrid dictatorships. A personalist dictatorship is a form of dictatorship in which one person, the dictator, holds absolute power and can appoint people to political offices on their authority alone. In a personalist dictatorship, neither political parties nor the military have any power independent of the dictator. The dictator has nearly supreme power over the government and usually personally selects the important members of their government, with no one else having much say. Dictators and personalist dictatorships generally try to form a so-called cult of personality around themselves. Examples of personalist dictatorships in the past were the Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin and Iraq under Saddam Hussein. Present day examples are Russia under Vladimir Putin and Syria under Bashar al-Assad. A military dictatorship is a form of dictatorship in which a leading military officer, the military dictator, rules a nation in cooperation with other leading military officers. Under this system of dictatorship, a dictator is usually a leading general who forms a government with other leading military officers called a junta. This junta uses the rest of the military to exert control over the populace. When military dictatorships come into power, they typically suspend a nation's constitution or implement a never-ending state of emergency or decree of martial law to retain power. Current examples of military dictatorships include Sudan, Myanmar, Chad, and Mali. A single-party dictatorship is a form of dictatorship in which only one political party is permitted to hold power and its leaders control the government to ensure their party's domination. Under a single-party state, a nation's leader, along with a group of party leaders, oversee the appointment of people to positions in government. Lawmaking bodies are usually dominated by these party leaders, thus making the party leaders the most powerful people in the nation. Single party dictatorships are very common in communist states, where the communist party has all other parties banned. Examples of single party states are China, Vietnam, Cuba, and Laos. 
A hybrid dictatorship is a dictatorship that combines the characteristics of two or more of the main types of dictatorships. Examples of hybrid dictatorships were Nazi Germany, which combined elements of personalist rule under Adolf Hitler with a single party state under the Nazi party, Spain under Francisco Franco, which combined elements of personalist and military dictatorship, and today, Kim Jong-un's rule in North Korea, which combines elements of, of a personalist dictatorship with a single party state. The absence of government is called anarchism. Anarchism is a philosophy which holds that there should be no government. While anarchism has never taken root in a state for a long period of time, there have been short-lived anarchist movements or movements influenced by anarchist ideas that took control of parts of nations in the past. These include the Baja Rebellion of 1911, part of the Mangonista Rebellion in Mexico, which was influenced by anarchist ideas, Macnovia, or Free Territory, a short-lived society established without a government in eastern Ukraine between 1918 and 1921 during the Russian Revolution, the Shimin Prefecture, a small region of Manchuria in northern China, which was populated by Koreans, where there was an attempt to create an anarchist community between 1929 and 1931, and revolutionary Catalonia during the Spanish Civil War of 1936 to 1939, where many states were created based on anarchist ideas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.